Now, one of the world's most wanted fugitives has wished Britons a Merry Christmas and constant vigilance. The NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden made an appearance on national TV with a not-so-uplifting message on the emergence of Western surveillance states, but he ended on a cheer note assuring viewers that it's not too late to fight back. RT's Boy Boyko reports. Christmas Day here in the UK is a sacred tradition. It's all about the Christmas turkey, the family gathering, and of course, getting around the telly to watch the Queen's speech with your family. This year, the Queen was wishing Brits a Merry Christmas. She spoke about the birth of her grandson, about the year's achievements, but Channel 4 were airing an alternative Christmas message from NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, who of course revealed the extent of mass government surveillance programs in the US, the UK and other Western countries. And he was speaking all about privacy. He said that George Orwell's 1984 was a real fairy tale compared to the reality that we're living with right now. A child born today will grow up with no conception of privacy at all. They'll never know what it means to have a private moment to themselves an unrecorded, unanalyzed thought. Channel 4 said that they chose Edward Snowden for this Christmas message because of the extent of the revelations that he has brought to the public this year and the questions that he's raised around democratic society. So they're going to be hoping that they will have nudged viewers towards questioning that status quo that little bit more by having Edward Snowden talk to them about privacy today. Earlier, we talked to Jim Killick, executive director of the Open Rights Group, and he told us that if societies remain docile, there will be nothing to stop the rise of surveillance states. If we don't think about the consequences of that and ask ourselves how we limit the power of the state in the face of this change that digital technology brings, then we are going to you know, move into a surveillance society just by default. Of course governments are going to use spies, of course they're going to surveil people from time to time. But what we found out from Edward Snowden is that they've changed the, what they do. You know, 20, 30 years ago, they would have targeted a few individuals. They wouldn't have been trying to surveil the whole population, uh, not unless you were, you know, East Germany or something like that. But what we know now is that that's what they're doing. They're just gathering information on everybody indiscriminately. Of course, we're not going to stop governments from spying on each other, but that is a very, very different matter than, than using the excuse of terrorism to keep tabs on everybody.